I'm Jason Mraz in search of incredible. And I'm here in Morocco in search of surf. It's where I found some of the most incredible waves in my life, and it's what attracts surfers from all around the world to this amazing region. Now, surfing is a passion for me, but I wouldn't say I'm the most incredible surfer in the world. I do know a guy, though, who is the most incredible surfer in the world. His name is Jesse Billauer, and I'd like you to meet him, too. So, when did you first get involved with surfing? Man, you know, like growing up by the beach and Pacific Palisades, I was like, man, that looks like a lot of fun out there. So I just started boogie boarding at first, and then I started longboarding just when I was like 9, 10 years old. And by the time I was 17, I was like you know, top 100 surfers in Surfer Magazine. I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to be a professional surfer. I want to surf for a living. So what happened? It was March 25th, 1996. I took off on this one wave, and going down the line, pulled in the barrel. When I came out, the wave hit me in my back, and I didn't really have time to put my hands up, you know, and I didn't know how shallow it was. I ended up going head first into the water and hit the shallow sandbar, and my whole body just went limp and numb and tingly, and when you're 17 and you hear that, you know, you broke your neck and that you sever your spinal cord and may never walk again, I mean, your life just stops, you know? And at that moment, I really didn't know what to think. Is this really permanent, you know? And every day that went by, I realized that this, this, was, this was pretty permanent, man. So that was 15 years ago. How long after your injury before you got yeah. back in the water? It took me three years because yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. figure out the right equipment, you know? Because nobody was really doing this before me, and I didn't really know how to set up the surfboard, didn't know what to do. Yeah, so now like I have you know muscles up here, so I just lay down on my stomach, prop myself up my elbows, and then my friends push me into the waves, and, and then it's all me, and that is like so much freedom and so much independence. The world as I see it is a remarkable place. From birds of you, I can see it as a well-rounded personality. From a bird's eye view, I can see we are family. And it's not hard for me to love you, hard for me to love you. No, it's not a difficult thing. It's not hard for me to love you, hard for me to love you. Because you are the world to me. Even falling is fun. I'm paralyzed, but when I fall, you know, I got a really good life jacket and I know I'm not gonna drown. I found like I could surf, you know, and that just gave me more inspiration for myself. So I realized that my story was, you know, an important story just to share. And that could bring hope and inspiration to people, whether they're disabled or not. So I got into doing motivational speaking. I was floating face down in the water, unable to move. And luckily, a wave turned me over. And at that Ninety-nine time. percent of the people I talked to are walking, mm -hmm. but they come up to me and just, I've had kids that were like, I was thinking about committing suicide until I heard you talk. And I mean, man, if you could save one life, that's amazing. And I just want to do the things that I love, you know. And so after my injury, I don't know, maybe five years after my injury. Went skydiving. That was pretty amazing, you know. Then a few years after that, I went 220 miles out to sea. Went cage diving with 12 to 15 foot great white sharks. I mean, that was beautiful. Like, I just figured, I always have something to look forward to, and life won't be that bad. Is a remark. So I told you we'd meet an incredible surfer. And by the looks of Jesse in the water, you can tell that the situation never stopped him from pursuing his dream. And in addition to his physical strength and his knowledge of the water, what really inspires me about Jesse is that he shares his strength with others. He invites you in on his journey. He invites you to share the same wave. And in surfing, that's called sharing the stoke. But it's what I call incredible. Yeah, the world is 
as I see it is a remarkable place.